According to a recent survey, several U.S. communities are making the most of their year-round access to abundant sunshine. A large portion of America is investing in solar energy, according to the 7th Shining Cities survey from Environment California's Research and Policy Center. This not only contributes to the global effort to achieve net zero emissions, but also lowers home expenses. The solar energy system typically exports 20 to 40 percent of its output back into the electrical grid, giving local users cheap, clean energy. There's also a ton of other advantages. Solar power reduces the consumption of fossil fuels, which reduces greenhouse gas emissions, promotes the public's health by reducing air pollution, prevents electrical grid collapse to make cities more disaster resistant. Just nine U.S. cities currently have more solar energy installed than the entire U.S. had 10 years ago, according to the report. Between 2014 and 2022, 15 of the 56 cities assessed saw a tenfold increase in solar capacity. All of this is happening while U.S. President Joe Biden works to pass his Build Back Better legislation through Congress. There are also questions about whether Biden will be able to enact the legislation before the midterm elections in November, despite its goal of providing $555 billion for green energy. Local governments should proceed with setting 100% renewable energy goals and developing roadmaps to reach those goals, according to the Shining Cities report. In the second quarter of 2018, the United States added more than 2 gigawatts of photovoltaic solar capacity, according to a recent analysis from Wood Mackenzie Power and Renewables and the Solar Energy Industries Association, or SEIA. Even though this marks a 9% year-over-year decline over the next five years, the U.S. is still anticipated to more than double its photovoltaic capacity. Top five U.S. states in terms of solar power capacity are examined in this section of sustainable energy. The statistics are taken from the most recent U.S. Solar Market Insight report by Wood Mackenzie Power and Renewables and the SEIA. The information for the states is up to date as of the second quarter of 2018. Number five, Nevada. Nevada has numerous utility-scale residential and commercial solar projects with 2.66 gigawatts of solar capacity, according to the SEIA. In the state, there are 6,564 solar jobs, 82 solar companies, and 30,207 solar installations. Number four, Arizona. Arizona has more than 3.6 gigawatts of installed solar capacity and is one of the sunniest states in the union. Their solar energy powers more than 530,000 homes and accounts for just over 6% of the country's electricity. Three, North Carolina. North Carolina is ranked third on the SEIA's list with about 4.5 gigawatts of installed solar. North Carolina is known as a leader in utility-scale solar, with more than 7,600 solar jobs and 8,381 solar installations. Number two, California. With nearly 23 gigawatts of installed solar, California continues to be the undisputed leader when it comes to solar power in the US, well ahead of its competitors. Solar energy generates almost 17% of California's electricity and the state's solar industry employs more than 86,000 people. Topaz Solar Farm, a photovoltaic installation with the ability to generate 550 megawatts of power, is one of the state's several sizable solar installations. Number one, Hawaii. The Hawaiian city of Honolulu is shining brightly at the top of this year's rankings with more than 1,000 watts of solar photovoltaic or PV capacity per person or more than three solar panels apiece. Solar superstars are Honolulu and 15 other U.S. cities with more than 100 watts of capacity per capita. They've seen a sharp increase in solar generation over the past few years and are setting the national standard. More than 23 million households might now be powered by solar energy in the U.S., but the report's authors believe that the largest economy in the world is capable of much more. They contend that strong policies should be adopted by local governments, states, and the federal government to encourage going solar by individuals, enterprises, and utilities. The likelihood that the Build Back Better plan will pass the bitterly divided U.S. Congress is still very low. It will be difficult, say experts, to meet Biden's goal of cutting emissions to at least 50% below 2005 levels by 2030 if it is not passed. The White House claims it is moving ahead with plans to develop a carbon-free power infrastructure by 2035 and expand the use of renewable energy on public lands. But as global supply chain bottlenecks and the prospect of new U.S. tariffs on panel imports from Southeast Asia hammer home, the solar sector has recently warned of a slowdown in project installs this year, according to Reuters. 
According to research by the World Economic Forum, by 2030, sustainable energy infrastructure will need to receive annual investments of around $4 trillion if we are to achieve net zero emissions by the year 2050. Fundamental restructuring of economies will also be necessary, with solar power and other renewable energy sources at the center of the change. With this, we conclude our video. We appreciate you helping us to keep going by watching. The best way to support our channel is to watch another episode. Thank you for tuning in. To ensure that you never miss an episode, please subscribe to the channel.